Hello dear viewers, it's day two in Ho Chi Minh City and we are going to review a morning kebab for breakfast. You can see the traffic is still very hectic. Hello, good morning. Hello, morning. Not bad, not bad. Croatia. Croatia. What? Croatia. Croatia. Yeah, yeah, that one. I like your beard. Okay, thank you. I like your hair. How long you been here? I just came yesterday. Yeah, it was very nice. So nice meeting you. Okay, nice. Okay, so this was a bit of socializing with the locals. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you get two? No. I guess it's here. So this is a ban mi kebab, which means it's served as a sandwich in a sandwich bread let's see what we will get from the ingredients meat Thank you very much. Right. I can see the chaotic traffic around here. We might need to wait a while, okay? Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, so this is a park uh, in the center of Ho Chi Minh City and now we are going to find a bench where we can weigh this banh mi kebab and then of course we are going to eat it and review the taste. Should find something in the shade, maybe there. Okay, so this is the banh mi kebab, basically it's like a sandwich, I'll show you more details later. This is the scale, one banh mi kebab is 213 grams. It's pretty lightweight and a lot of it is bread, though then again the cost is I think around 1 euro, so we cannot complain too much. So for banh mi inside, I'll try to show you, it's a bit far. You get some meat, two slices of tomato, a bit of lettuce, a cucumber, some weird vegetable, a bit of white and a bit of red sauce, and we ask for some extra chilies. Now let's try out the taste. It is not too bad actually, it is the first properly spicy kebab I got in whole of Vietnam. I would expect that as being a Southeast Asian country with spicy cuisine, kebabs would also be spicy. I'm getting hiccups from the chili. Okay, this is properly spicy. And you can see they have pictures of actual doner kebabs here. What you get does not look as good 
those things in the pictures but when it comes to sandwiches this is actually a very good sandwich when it comes to kebab the bar is a bit higher so let me first finish this before I make my judgment I think it's quite a decent sandwich I will give it 2.5 stars and I, know, I, would, I would even give it free, so the positives were definitely it's actually spicy, finally, a spicy kebab in Vietnam. Um, it has a nice selection of vegetables, uh, though a bit too much of cucumber for my liking, but anyway. has tomatoes, which are quite unlikely to see around here. It also got two sauces, which is nice. Um, the reason why I'm not giving it, say, three stars is because there's just too much bread around it. Um, I don't know if they normally serve it in kind of like a pita, but the amount of ingredients you get compared to the amount of bread is fairly low. So, again, if this was just a sandwich, it would be an amazing sandwich. And when it comes to kebabs, it's slightly subpar though from what i've normally eaten of stands of the street uh, this is hands down the best kebab i've tried here and 25,000 dongs which is around one euro um, one really cannot complain about the price either but this is a banh mi kebab in ho chi minh city We didn't get any tissues with it, so I'll need to use some of my own. And yeah, overall it was a nice pleasant surprise. I have to say though that because of properly spicy chilies, which I had to ask extra for, um, this has greatly elevated the rating of this kebab. If it was not spicy, I don't know, it would probably be in 1.5 stars. But now, because it was actually properly spicy, it is almost as good as a good kebab. The only, the only minus is the bread, uh, the rest is quite good and for Vietnamese circumstances very good in terms of kebab. Ho Chi Minh City so far hands down the best kebab we tried in Vietnam. So that was Min Tuan, a kebab stand off the side of the road in Ho Chi Minh City. It was not a great kebab, not even an average one, but it was the first properly spicy kebab I've eaten in Vietnam. Considering that Southeast Asian cuisine is awash with spicy meals, I found it really disappointing that it took me so long to encounter one properly spicy kebab and that the kebabs in Vietnam are generally mild and plain tasting. This sandwich kebab costs merely 1 euro and packs 213 grams of ingredients, so the value for money is excellent. At 206 grams per euro, it is the third best buy kebab I've reviewed. However, at least half of its mass comes from the bread, so the numbers should be taken with a grain of salt. The average Vietnamese worker can afford 2.8 kilograms of this kebab per day, not an amazing number, but probably as good as one can hope for in Vietnam. That is all for today, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week in another episode.